22-6 is your team score as Wartburg leading Wabash as we're back to action here at the NWCA Multi-Divisional National Duels. This is a Division III semifinal between Wartburg and Wabash. We're at 184 pounds. The green anklet with the orange singlet is Devin Peterson, transfer from Iowa Western Community College. A junior college national qualifier. Do more about him in a moment. His opponent, Riley Lefevre, the third and younger of the three Lefevres on the team here, returning national champion. Peterson in on a shot, trying to finish on Lefevre. Lefevre hips in, no, no dice. We get a fresh start, and as I mentioned, Lefevre last year, as a freshman, went undefeated and won a national championship of 184 pounds. Actually did not taste defeat in college until December just a few weeks ago at the Midlands, which again is a prestigious Division I focused wrestling tournament. There are wrestlers from the smaller divisions that compete, usually the higher ranked and national champs from Division II, Division III in the NAIA and so on. But uh, Lefevre's first loss of his career actually came in a close bout to Brown's Ophir Bernstein, who was a Division I All-American in 2014. So uh, Lefevre's first two losses of his career came at Midlands, but still undefeated against Division III competition. And his opponent, Devin Peterson, not your run-of-the-mill type of transfer. Tremendous high school career at Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln, won multiple national titles at the USA Wrestling level. Ended up at Iowa Western, also there for the Reavers, a, a new junior college program, and then looked at Grandview for a moment and then uh, decided to come out to Wartburg. And Peterson unranked mainly because he's just become inserted into that Wartburg lineup. Peterson, even though he didn't place at the junior college nationals two years ago, will be a threat to place this year at the uh, Division III tournament. Under a minute to go. No score here with Lefevre. Peterson in on the single leg. Gets two. And we go out of bounds. So Peterson will strike first. Peterson a highly sought after recruit coming out of, again, that wrestling factory in Wisconsin Rapids. Throws in the boots, tries to crank over the arm bar, and now there's a reversal for Riley Lefevre. Apparently a 16-point spread, the most points Wabash can get by winning these last three is 18, looking for three falls, and that probability is probably pretty slim. Probability, probably. That makes a whole lot of sense. Big lift and return for Lefevre. The reason we say that is Wartburg has a nationally ranked heavyweight also looming. Peterson has choice, looks over to his bench, says, I'm going to defer. Lefevre looks over at Camden Eppert. He goes, let's go down. Camden Eppert in the black shirt there for uh, Walbosch. NCAA qualifier during his career at Purdue University and in Indiana native, given this Division III coaching thing ago. A good mentor there, Brian Anderson. Such a tremendous guy. Good job at making a Wabash nationally competitive. Saved some of the uh, single choices that we were talking about earlier in the broadcast. And the scoreboard. Scoreboard should be 3-2. to two. No, two to two. I was incorrect. Yeah. I don't know why I got three. Scoreboard should be two to two because we have the takedown and the reversal. Little Giants. One of the cooler nicknames. That's one thing in Division Three. You see all sorts of funky nicknames. There's a one point escape for Lefevre as he turns and faces. Like Heidelberg University, they're, they're the, the student princes. Cal 
collar ties and expected kind of a physical match between these two. Both of them rather bullish. So 3 2 lead for Lefevre. Fever doesn't necessarily want to play out in the space. He wants to close that gap. Another cool Division Three nickname, the Lord Jeffs of Amherst. Too bad they don't have wrestling. Coming up under a minute here in period number two. The pace slowed considerably here in the second. The so returning Division III national champion in the red, white, and gray, the Wabash. And I actually have to credit uh, Lefevre's high school coach, Joe Caprino, out there at Carroll for telling me over the years how to say Wabash correctly. So thanks, Joe. Fifteen remaining here in this, again, rather slow-paced second period. Peterson in on a shot, hipping in. The Fever going to try to score in short time here, but time will run out. And Peterson's going to have the choice. Start in the down position. Trailing by a point. And up and out is Peterson. So we are tied up at three. Working the underhook to the near side. On the high seat, and on the, uh, the straight single leg, Peterson circles behind, nearly had a chance at the takedown. Now Lefebvre in on the shot, finishes. Nice, quick, clean finish, and he's going to extend his lead now to five to three as we're no longer tied. 122 remaining. Trying to work that bar to the left side. Cranking. He's got that ankle trap, so there's not a whole lot he can do from there. And yeah, looks like we had a stall warning on Peterson. Head buried in the mat. And the fever with the half. Peterson up to his feet. And Lefevre tried to lift and return, but they went out of bounds. No change, you hear the referee. And that'll be a false start. Five yards, repeat first down. Oh, wait, different sport. Uh, we just call that a caution here in wrestling. And off the restart, Lefevre down to the knee, back up. Cranks on the chin, cross face. Now looking for inside wrist control under 30 minutes to go. He's got that riding time point almost secured. Peterson with a lot of work to do here. Pins the arm. The old hammerlock with five seconds to go. And so the Lefevers go three for three. The only three victories thus far for Wabash as Riley Lefevre will pick up a six to three victory at 184 pounds.